for a while now, over the last uh, five, seven years, we had lab evidence that the stem cells can uh, develop into cartilage cells. Then we had animal studies. Now we have got the first big clinical study coming out. So the implications are huge. It's very exciting. There are very few studies like this in the world. The, this sort of size study is, in, in, in essence, unique. Uh, there are some places around the world who are giving it a go, but it's really at the beginning of this sort of treatment. You get a patient who is a recreational high-level athlete or a professional athlete uh, and they've got a groin injury or a hip injury where there is a patch of arthritis developing and it can be a career-threatening injury. What do they do? The choices are activity modification but that for a sportsman means giving up or even for a recreational person that means compromising on things they love doing. It's incredibly difficult to get articular cartilage that's gristle to heal. Uh, we've tried all sorts of which ways over the years but actually getting it to heal has been a problem. Um, and so along comes so-called orthobiological procedures and part of that is bone marrow aspirate and the stem cell component of bone marrow aspirate. We started looking at can mesenchymal stem cells, these are the cells which are like seeds which you can plant in a, in a joint and they have the ability to grow new cartilage. Can we use that technology to grow new cartilage and get them back to what they like doing? Our job, if we want to use stem cells, is to find somewhere which is fairly rich in their supply. Now, bone marrow is easy to access and it has a very rich supply of stem cells. If we can take bone marrow at the time of surgery, if we can prepare that bone marrow so that it contains a high concentration of stem cells, then we do. And that seems to be the best way of doing it. Ali Bajwa explained the, the, the process to me, um, took me through you know, some, some of the basic science and, it, and explained the potential benefits to me. Um, I, I was very happy you know, to, to proceed and, 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 and to try it out and you know, anything really to get back to full fitness and ensure that I can continue my um, triathlon career. We take uh, one group of patients uh, and just do keyhole surgery in a standard fashion. Uh, there's over 40 odd patients in that group and uh, then we are taking a second group of patients uh, where we have used keyhole surgery techniques but combined with them with a stem cell treatment and then we start looking at the outcomes. Now what are the outcomes? The biggest one for us was patient satisfaction or, or, or patient reported outcomes. The second were validated scores looking at uh, hip function, hip pain and also sporting endeavors. What we were seeing was that the stem cell group, A, were improving quicker, B, they were hitting a, a function both in terms of reduction in pain and improvement in function and sport a lot better than the group that did not have uh, a stem cell uh, treatment. Again, nothing in there? No, it feels fine. Okay, drop the left arm, let's bring the right one up. As the stem cells are bedding in, uh, you have to respect that the fact that if, if they break down, then that part of the surgery is lost. And I think the recovery of stem cell patients, as we've proved now, um, are around 25% better than those that haven't. Uh, so I think the emphasis on telling your patients that to back off and really let these things bed in because going forwards in years to come, you're going to benefit from joint preservation. The aim, of course, of all of these orthobiological procedures is that we should delay the day when a joint replacement is required. I mean, no one is saying joint replacement is a bad thing, but ultimately, you don't really want to have metalwork inside you if you can avoid it. And that's why living tissue makes good sense. The implications are huge. Our patients will now have more choice. Uh, the patient wants to preserve a, a joint rather than have it replaced, they have an option. Uh, the elite athletes, if they are injured and they want to return to sport, they've got an option here of uh, cartilage repair. In incredibly um, you know, pleased and grateful to have been able to get back to, to full Ironman fitness in sh such a short period of time on both occasions. Um, and, and that's down obviously to the Villa Bajra practice and then the excellent aftercare that I had from George Cooper. So I, I do feel very lucky to, to have had that level of care and expertise.